they're retarded. I was like, what the fuck is wrong with them? Like, why aren't they? Because they need family members to look after them the entire life. And, like, they need friends and other people in the neighborhood involved and to make sure that they're okay, even though people who were in that situation at that age should be fine. They weren't mistreated. They weren't neglected. They weren't abused. They weren't going through this child sexual abuse or anything like that. They don't have any significant trauma, but they're like that because they're retarded. And I was like, why isn't their family taking care of them? I have no idea. But that's what that was. They were like, I was like, what? Because it didn't really make sense like as to why like their teeth were deteriorating, like their health is failing, all that kind of stuff, and they're perfectly capable of taking care of themselves and like going and looking for resources and they need somebody always with them to show them where to go and like how to get there and like who to talk to and what's okay and what's not okay and all that kind of stuff their entire life and they start like making decisions that like they only care about how they feel you know they don't really care about the reasonings behind it or like doing the right thing or like any of that kind of stuff it's always based on emotions and stuff like that I just think it's retarded um I have to get Preston's dog food on Saturday but unfortunately I don't think I can actually make it to that location I'm thinking about just like yeah I'm like I wired there some of them are actually schizophrenic but that's due to like severe like it's actually there is a genetic component to schizophrenia that's why they've been trying to imply like the PhDs have been trying to imply that or trying to convince myself and everyone else that I'm also schizophrenic when in reality I'm actually not biologically related to Susan or her family members so it's not going to affect me, which is something that they don't understand. Because they have a hard time understanding this, right? It's just, they've never met a lot of people in their life. I think maximum their entire life is somebody, average professional Canadian in their 40s, right? They've, I think, met probably... I'm going to go ahead and say they've probably met about 400 people in their entire life including extended family members and um and they went on vacation and like the neighbors and all that kind of friends of neighbors and stuff like that not a lot of people so yeah and also the grading scheme on schools have changed i know that people who were older than me when they went to school it was a b c d and then f if somebody failed they actually changed it to r when I was going to school and I think it's because R stands for retarded they didn't actually tell the students what those letter grading stood for F stood for fail but they changed it to R R for retarded and I'm like Hello? I don't know what A stands for I'm so assuming it's ace for it's like ace for ace um, B is for, um, below average, C is for, um, I have no idea, yeah, A is average, B is below average, C is something, D is dumb, R is retarded. Yeah. Oh, first you wish to. Yeah, he's been giving me a lot of dumb looks lately because he's just a puppy. And he's not very quick on his feet. Honestly, he's a little clumsy. And it's fine. And I still love him, even though he's like that. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. He's not really doing something right, but.
like a revelation to me. I was like, what? What's wrong with these people? Like, why are they like that? And I was like, what's this? Like, because like the people who are involved in this harebrained scheme is are also mentally challenged. Um, they thought that this would be enough to like convince people that like they don't know this, right? Just because when somebody is diagnosed with a significant mental disability such as Down syndrome. It's noticeable, like, when they're born, it's very hard to hide that kind of stuff, right? And a lot of times, um, especially when you compare somebody else, especially due to the existence of cosmetic work and um, surgeons and all that kind of stuff, it's possible for people to get work done on their faces, and, like, it's the whole point is that they may improve their appearance which can lead to a better life because people may stop discriminating against them based on general appearance or make assumptions based on how they look right and i think that's the reason why a lot of people undergo cosmetic surgeries they're quite painful and very costly um but another thing is that um like withstanding actual disabilities that are very prominent people who don't have a genetic disorder such as that or any sort of biological disorder where it's FASD which is fetal alcohol spectrum disorder or um any like Klinefelter syndromes or anything like that if they are not suffering from that kind of disorder it's hard to detect, right? Like, hard to tell if they're normal or not. Just because people can experience abnormal life circumstances and it might change your outlook on life. It might kind of, like, shift their perspective. And, and that can affect how they well they do with the rest of their life. But, like, um... Yeah, like, I mean, a lot of people don't look like the person they're supposed to be, mostly because some parents, when they are um, getting together, um, other people who are involved or may be involved or may have something to say about that, might persuade them to be with somebody in an effort to hide their disabilities or try to, like, make up for it. Or um, they may even choose, like, they understand the lack that they have and they may willingly choose a partner that can compensate for that. Unlikely, but um, possible, right? I think, like, um, the entire thing is that um, if, like, if I wasn't very attractive, but I was fine otherwise, Right? I would want my kids to turn out better looking than I am. I would go for a partner, right, who was better looking than me or who can compensate for that lack, right, of physical attractiveness and make sure that it can, like, even if that person wasn't as smart as me, I, was, I would be hoping that my intelligence would be able to supplement for the child kind of stuff. This is what I'm thinking with a lot of breeding choices that I see, so I'm thinking maybe that might be what was going on. I have no idea. Like, honestly, obviously, there's a lot of government push behind it when people needed people to, like, start procreating to include in their workforce and kind of, like, make a significant impact on the rest of the global population so they're not endangered of, like, getting wiped out or going extinct or have somebody to, like work certain positions such as like i don't know defending positions like in the military or whatever yeah so I don't, i'm assuming that's why a lot of people were like pushing for that kind of stuff and were willing to invest all their money into people who were like that this is my assumption because that would make sense i don't know if this is true <laughs> but yeah um why 
do I care? I actually don't, except now it's gone to a point where it's a problem for me because I shouldn't have any reason as to why I cannot hold a stable career and I shouldn't be forced to marry a man to get out of the situation because that's very, very, very 1915. I'm gonna say even further back, 1615, like pioneer days where the the Mormons I think like I wear very long dresses covering my ankles and um wearing those like weird looking hats and then like I still churn my own butter and I gotta go milk the cows every morning and like I gotta feed the chickens and like I like harvest my own eggs kind of stuff but yeah that's like their mentality except in the 21st century which is just kind of I'm just like this is kind of weird. It's just kind of like they they think that like I'm the one stuck in the dark ages when it's them, but I I don't know why they think this way. Yeah, they're like they. I think a lot of people were like expecting me to say, "Oh, a rich man, I must marry him." Like it's called prostitution, by the way. I know a lot of women who are just as attractive as I am through cosmetic work are prostitutes. Like, that's kind of the point. But I actually didn't have cosmetic work done on my face apart from the eyelid, botched eyelid surgery that I was forced to get as a child because I think that was the whole intention behind the Na family where they wanted me to look like I've had work done on my face and something went wrong and that's the mistake that people can see is like the eyelid stuff and I'm like yeah I don't think that's right like, it's child abuse and quite frankly I think it was because they wanted me to look ruined so that I'd end up just going back to them and they can sexually abuse me aka try to attempt to procreate with me that was the entire reason us they didn't even do a good job at it but that was the reason why they were telling me the reason, only reason they're spending money on me and feeding me so that they can have the love baby with me and they can continue on their line like as if that's even possible right again all of them have mental disorders and quite a significant um criminal history <laughs> so this is kind of like i know a lot of people have tried to imply to me that they're cool these criminals are cool they know what they're doing but the fact that they're in prison is a very good indicator as to the fact that they don't know what they're doing and other people around them have either ratted them out or have intentionally gathered enough evidence to send them away for a very long time and the judge personally without even knowing them decided that was okay <laughs> Wait, the judges actually who decide on the presence of this don't actually have anything personal against that person but if they can read a case and they just don't even like this person based on what they've done, they can actually put them away for a very long time, which is kind of why I don't trust the judicial system. I mean, the minute I get my case assigned to a judge who doesn't even like me, even though I didn't even do anything to her personally, I mean, that's probably not the best person to go for, like, my life decisions. But maybe that's, like, their implication when they do that kind of stuff. It's like, oh, maybe you didn't make the best decisions in life because you went to the wrong you know, we have these rules very clear and outlined and you just didn't want to follow the people that you're supposed to follow along with and now you're kind of screwed and nobody likes you. Yeah, but yeah. I think, oh, yeah, there's this French guy. I think he's faking this accent. I think he's from Britain and I think he has a significant developmental disorder. And I don't know how to tell him to fuck off. Like, I'm planning on standing him up at the food bank. I don't think I need to go on Saturday, but I might need to go in about six days. And I'm hoping the food will last six days for Preston. I don't know if it will. But yeah, I'm going to stand him up because he's been threatening to stab me or punch me and, like, steal all my stuff, including my backpack off my back after he knocks me out. He's a crackhead, by the way, and he's missing teeth, and he's very, very underweight. But yes, he said he's gonna do those things. He also told a lot of people that he was getting sober. But he's not. He, he says that all the time. Because it'll get people off his back. I mean, that's honestly 
the truth about drug addicts, which is just kind of the stuff that they say. Yeah, I mean, I think that he thinks that I see people as an investment opportunity. That's what Dustin sees people as, and that's the wrong way to look at people. I see people as people, not investment opportunities, not as pets, not as animals to be trained, not as anything other than um, just regular people. Also, um, a lot of people who don't do very well academically typically have an outlook towards people that reflect their own educational limitations and I've noticed a pattern which they think that people are like animals and that education's bad. Learning is bad and people who go to education are out there to hurt other people. Ironically, that's what they're doing. They're bad for not actually going through with their education. Obviously, there's exceptions, but I'm talking generally. And they're the ones who are wanting to hurt other people because they're not as smart as some other people. So this is kind of like the pattern that I've noticed. So, yeah. I mean, there's this one famous person who, ref who has referred to education as domestication of people. I mean, are you saying like people are learning things so they do things the right way instead of just being retarded? Or something like I just maybe she lost a lot of friends after they learned about her and what she's done and she doesn't agree with that you know she doesn't agree with the fact that people have their own opinions and they can make their own decisions and it includes cutting her out of their life and she thinks everybody has to accept her regardless of the things that she's done because that's what true friendships about Does she watched my little pony or something and something's not right with her like I'm Honestly, she's adopted and she was financially well taken care of, but for some reason, I have a feeling that the reason why she was put up for adoption was because her parents were literally incapable of looking after her after she was born. For whatever reason. But I'm like, yeah, I no sane person thinks that way. This is why it's a headache. But I'm assuming she might be under the influence of drugs. I mean, she's gone through a lot of, like, not the best thing in her life, which is she didn't actually have this thing called love. You know, actual care and affection, and that's honestly not an excuse. Can you imagine going to just saying, I wasn't loved enough, Judge, that's why I did those horrendous crimes. And I'm gonna be like, oh, I think there's a medical term for that. Yes, we call that antisocial personality disorder. Mm -hmm. Please see a doctor, goodbye. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's what they will say. I don't want to see a doctor for any sort of personality disorders because, again, these doctors are people and they have their own opinions. Like the judges, they also have their own opinions. They have a life outside of work. And people in those positions care about their life outside of work. I mean, at the end of the day, that's the truth of it. Not everyone's good at their jobs also. This is why there's a word called incompetent. Yeah. So, I mean... Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, ugh, wish somebody would have told me. I mean, they were like treating me as if I was a retarded one. Like, they're treating me like how everybody else in their life has treated them, but they were doing that for a good reason, whereas for them, they didn't really get that. Or they're just frustrated about it. Like Paris Jackson, who believes everybody needs to be friends till the end of time, no matter what. Once you're friends, you're friends forever. Friends love for life. Never getting out. And I'm like, yeah, that's called a gang. And everyone has said, stay away from gangs. I mean, I'm not saying there's, like, maybe she feels insecure about that kind of stuff, you know? And I'm saying, like, people should be threatened or, like, forced to be with other people. Or, like, they should feel, like... As if, um, if they do one minor thing, they're gonna just get all the friendships taken away, whatever. Like, that's not okay, but, you know, when you fuck up, you fuck up. And, um, unfortunately, people aren't gonna stick around for that. And that's just the truth of it, regardless of how your relationship was before. It. Like, I don't know. People, I guess this is like the hard... I think, is that what the movie Annie was about? It's a hard knock life, where, like, they did some 
horrendous mistake and they're like oh i thought my friends would stick around and i'm like and then we like yeah if you're my friend you want to do that dude and they're like oh i don't know what came over me i don't know I'm learning a lot about the dirty, seedy underbelly of the world. And I think this dirty, seedy underbelly part actually is like very common in other areas of the world. I'm not gonna say all of it, but I think it's very prevalent and common in many different parts of the globe, which I'm really thankful to have learned about. I mean, some people go through a lot worse, but to, understand that but I actually didn't have to go through that. I think it was pretty bad, I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, I didn't know about the dirty under C D underbelly of the world. There's a really nice top part of the world where people are typically sane and they don't really have to worry about their things getting stolen and like I mean, honestly, now that I think about it, people who own houses still worry about their stuff getting stolen all the time. I, it's not really, like, I think they make sure that they get along with their neighbors so that kind of stuff doesn't happen, but there's break-ins, people break through windows and break down doors and all that kind of stuff. Like, they trash their yard and, I mean, if you're renting an apartment or a condominium unit, you know, like, people can definitely, like, you know, bribe the supervisor or superintendent or something like that like they can let the wrong people into the room who are of higher authority positions and stuff I mean there's not really a guarantee that like everything is safe and like your privacy is being protected at all times I mean not that they're doing something wrong about it but I wouldn't trust people who do that kind of stuff I don't think their heart is in the right place this is why I don't really trust them you know it's like with the wrong intentions it causes that like you know, the mood of mistrust, of like, oh, why are you doing that for that reason? It just seems like you want to hurt me kind of stuff. And sometimes people do this because they're scared. They th they're scared that other people are going to hurt them, so they do that preemptively to like let other people know, like, I'm going to hurt you first. But I still not okay. <sighs> but I am like, glad that I am. I'm learning about this stuff prior to being a homeowner because if I was a homeowner and I had to learn it the hard way, then that might be a bigger headache. And then, like, I'd be owning property, I wouldn't be even able to sleep in my own house. Right? And I'd be like, oh my god, I can't even sleep in my own freaking house that I paid for. <laughs> Why? <laughs> and I have to like sleep over at my friend's house or my relative's house all the time. What's the point of having an empty house? Literally, like, it's a waste of money, right? So I'm just like, oh my god. So glad I'm learning how to get along with neighbors. 